Shoot us into. Grabbed a few pawns and captured. So it's not looking too bad for us at this moment. Now it's just placement of the pieces correctly. So attacking the unprotected pawn, developing the knight, keeping the bishop on the board, attacking the lone pawn here, and just waiting to see what the opponent's going to do. Happy to give up the bishop if need be. And they went for a greedy munch of a, the pawn. Potentially I think they should have probably taken the bishop there because it didn't look like it improved their position and it seemed to be like a single attack that, that didn't really improve much um, in terms of team play or developing other pieces as you can see their dark square bishop is um, stuck on the back so again it's one of those um, where we're seeing quite a few in few of the games that we're playing is this need to just go and grab a piece but not really looking at how you're going to end up or what your position's like after it seems like a key thing well especially for how i'm trying to develop my own game is trying to make sure that okay if i am capturing a piece does it really improve my position or is it just taking a piece just to take a piece and it just leaves you a bit floundering because your pieces aren't working together there's no defense there's no counter defense there's no counter attack available from the position that you've put yourself in so that's why we, we're working on the, the potential value for each of the moves. Seems to be a key thing. It's probably um, maybe the end of the road in terms of our evaluation because we've broken down quite a lot of um, little small niggling problems with our game and we eventually, eventually landed with what's the potential value for the move. Underneath that are all of the concepts within the answer. So we can grab the pawn here because it's safe to do so and then the knight comes and attacks. It's probably a little bit late to the party so we can take that off the board. Um, what we have is like an x-ray through here so in, in essence um, this pawn can't move or anything like that. But we don't have many pieces attacking the pawn. So we bring our bishop back, bringing it to safety but also multiply attacking a higher piece as well also improving its position blocking this pawn here so there's multiple multiple reasons that's why the potential value for that bishop move was higher than the rest of the other pieces so far so they move their rook so then smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong improving the position of the pawn on the board as well getting closer towards their king as well as well as pressuring the knight so the knight moves and it's moved to the side rather than uh, potentially maybe moving to attack the pawn. I know it could get attacked again, but it seems more promising doing an attack or something, you know, putting itself into place or looking to basically work towards supporting the king and sacrificing itself if the bishop did take. King improves its position a little bit. Something along them lines, but jumping into the lion's den with not a clear focal point. I suppose the focal point was coming for this fork here, uh, which is simply nullified by moving one of the rooks, which is also supporting the pawn, which has the potential for pushing towards the king. So that's the potential value for that rook move is um, fairly strong in my head. So the knight still continues with his fork action with his knight, and his knight doesn't really have any support with it whatsoever. So. For me, I'm just thinking, could he not just go back again, you know, to feel a little bit safe or come back here and attack the bishop? That's probably more productive. Um, those, those little tiny things were jumping in my head, but because I'm not playing for the opponent, I'm glad they made this move because it's a single attack with no support in it whatsoever with the potential for it getting trapped because it is down there by itself. So we attack the knight and so it jumps back. So now at this stage here, the knight really has not got anywhere to go. As we highlighted in the game, it can go here, but it gets taken. Can go here, but it gets taken. It can go here, but it gets taken. So there's nothing else for that knight to do. So I did like this touch here where they attacked our piece, but again, it's a bit late to the party now. So we can now mobilize our knight for a better position. We did highlight it in the game 
potential checks on the king to win some tempo and it's got a safe haven coming back here if it does get attacked so they continue pushing the pawn because they know the knight is really dead meat so potentially they should maybe have I don't know I didn't want them to do this but develop their bishop you know making space for the rook yes so you know a piece is going down but try and um, get your other pieces active uh, rather than a pawn push that really is um, not really going to stand them in good stead so gives us time to actually take the knight off the board and maybe they didn't see the ninja bishop and they thought they were going to get queened with that or maybe they thought I wouldn't see it and I would go and do something else you know but I would be putting a check on the king I'd win a tempo yeah, maybe they thought I was going to forget about the pawn it does happen so nice attempt anyway on that score so then we put the check on the king and then we bring our knight into the center of the board and safely with this lovely outpost here and the rook for some reason I don't know is trying to challenge this pawn I'm not sure so we can bring our rook across attacking their king and now we can start pushing through with the support from our rook capture capture was the owner was undecided as to whether to take with the rook or not probably didn't take with the rook because he's got his bishop here which is going to x-ray through to the pawn and all the knights protecting it but it then means i have to move my knight again and it's not going to be any good there because the bishop is protecting so i felt it was a little bit better so the rook is nicely behind the pawn and their rook jumping down i thought well it's not really going to take the knight is it because we've got the ninja bishop protecting <clears throat> so bring the knight across was going to bring the rook up and attack the king but i, I had pictures of maybe the king coming here or something and i totally forgot that my bishop was protecting when i did the move um so like, well when i was thinking about it i was thinking oh i've been in these situations before where i end up losing the knight the king coming here or something or getting squished or something like that i mean he could safely move back here is that really going to be of any benefit to me um i was i was unsure so i went for the safer option going for a knight check and also attacking their pawn at the same time and that gave us space for our rook to come through and put a check on their king so now we're making space for the rooks to put checks on the king so we can swing through now quite easily and with the bishop get a checkmate so that was really quite an active game active in terms of we kept busy with our pieces and we tried to target as many key areas key pieces and using the strategy of hopefully dynamic targeting and the gauge bar was quite in favor of what we were doing so we're, we're doing something right at this moment um so yeah case in point if you're having a look at what the opponent was doing again it's looking really at doing combination attacks rather than single attacks really having that patience to sit back and really work the pieces together as best possible can't say that often enough <laughs>